And we're back. The time is now 513. Our developing story this morning, the BART trains are running. There is no BART strike. As a matter of fact, BART's management and leaders of its second largest union, ATU, announced late last night that they did in fact reach a tentative agreement. Now, ATU members still need to vote on that contract. That vote is expected to take place soon, possibly this week. A firm date, though, has not yet been set. No details on this new agreement to have been released. However, BART's general manager, Dorothy Duggar, said it does eliminate work rules that management believed were inefficient and costly, and it does cut $100 million in labor costs. Here's what some writers had to say after hearing the news. I am happy about that because there won't be any chaos or any kind of riots going on. People won't be out of work. Um, it was actually pretty exciting considering I'm going to be needing to um, use the BART coming back in a couple of days, so that's good. <laughs> I mean, a BART strike would, would basically would clog up all the bridges and everything. It would clog up all the all the other commuter systems, mm -hmm. which would mean that it would take, for people who are driving to San Francisco, right. it would take them, instead of 30 minutes to get across the Bay Bridge, it would take them an hour and a half. I'm glad that BART's not going on strike, because now I can, I don't take BART, but I take the freeway, and that means that there's going to be less people on the freeway. I have some coworkers that ride BART, and there are some messages going around in the forums and things, and there are some concern that people are going to be late to work and not, be, not going to be able to make it into work or something, so, I mean, it seems like a good thing that it's not striking. I don't really know what the strike exactly is for, since I ride my bike all the time. But, um, I mean, it seems like a good thing to me. I don't know. Now, San Francisco Mayor Gavin Newsom and Representative Barbara Lee and other elected officials were part of the talks that helped prevent that strike. Two other BART unions voted last week to approve management contracts. So, again, today... The trains are running. There is no BART strike. You can take BART to work. So stay with us here on our morning show here, Cron 4 News, for the very latest on all this as it develops. When, incidentally, we're going to be live blogging this morning beginning at 7.30 and uh, getting some reaction from uh, riders and others, too, on the BART strike being called off. We'll also have the entire news conference that announced that tentative agreement on our website there. Cron4.com, the place to go. All right, we're also following some other news this morning on the national end. Hundreds of schools concerned about renewed swine flu outbreaks are preparing for what could be the most widespread school vaccination since the days of polio. An AP review of swine flu planning found that schools are heeding the government's call to set up a flu shot clinic this fall. The goal, of course, is to keep schools open during the illness. Federal officials say schools should close only as a last resort. As many as one million Americans got sick and dozens of schools closed during the last wave of swine flu. Also this morning, after months of relative calm, the storm season is suddenly in full swing this morning. Take a look at some of these images coming in from Florida, where you can see obviously the wind howling and rain, lots of rain in the air. Tropical storm Claudette making landfall overnight in the Florida panhandle near the Fort Walton Beach area. It's the first to hit the U.S. mainland this year. Also, two other storms out in the Atlantic right now are worth bearing watch, including one that's now the season's first hurricane. Hurricane Bill is its name, and we'll be tracking its progress as it heads closer and closer to the east coast. All right, at 516, let's get over to the Weather Center now, get an idea of our local forecast on this Monday morning. Evelyn Taft following all that. Good morning, Ev. Good morning, James. We're getting a look at our last satellite image to come in of the fog, and you'll see fog spanning into Santa Rosa right there along the coast of the North Bay, along the coast of the peninsula as well, a little bit through the city and through the Golden Gate at the 90s point. for the remainder of the work week. 518, the time right now. Let's get a check on traffic with George. Thanks, Evelyn. As we start off with a look once again at the Bay Bridge, Toll Plaza expected to be heavier than normal with the threat of a bark strike over the weekend. No strike, that's the good news, but a lot of folks may have driven to work early anyway, but that doesn't appear to be the case at the Bay Bridge. The uh, light, the traffic is, no metering lights here, so a very easy ride. We even had Sky 4 up a little early this morning uh, <laughs> just in case there would have been a strike. So everything was lined up to cover it, and fortunately it didn't happen. James. All right, George, thank you much. 519 is the time. Other stores are following new this morning. Just a quick update here. Stinson Beach expected to reopen today after a shark sighting last week prompted the closure. You can see some of the signs there warning the public to stay away. So we are expecting Stinson Beach to reopen today. All right, we're also following uh, news out of the state legislature today. They will reconvene after a three-week break following the bruising budget battle. Lawmakers will come together again to face some of the state's thorniest issues, water, prisons, and spending. In addition to the hundreds of bills that lawmakers will have to figure out what to do about the state's water crisis and how to trim about a 
well, a little over a billion dollars from the prison system. Lawmakers approved cutting prison funds last month, but put off identifying the cuts until this month, so they'll take up that issue now. Legislators have until September 11th to pass these bills. All right, we're going to take another break here. 520 is the time, as we've been telling you. As you just heard from George, there is no BART strike. It has been averted. The trains are running, so if you take BART to work on a normal day, you can as well today. BART trains are running. 520 the time. Let's go outside, give you a live look here from the Golden Gate Bridge. Traffic coming in from the North Bay, moving along just fine. No major problems being reported by the CHP. We'll be right back in just a moment. Stay with us. If it's a big story, I'm the only person to be on this brand new section of the Bay Bridge. Count on Cron 4 to deliver big coverage. Firefighters are still mopping up a blaze. Every newscast, every day. Cron 4, the Bay Area's news station. He's at and we're back. 523 is the time. Our developing story again this morning. If you haven't heard, the BART trains are running this morning. There is no strike. BART management and leaders of the second largest union there at BART, ATU, the Amalgamated Transit Union, announced late last night they've reached a tentative agreement. ATU members still need to vote on that contract, and that vote is expected sometime this week, we're told, although no specific date has been announced. No details on this new agreement either have been released. But BART's general manager, Dorothy Duggar, said... Uh, it does eliminate work rules that management believed were inefficient and costly, and it does meet their goal of cutting about $100 million in labor costs. Crawford's Will Tran actually joining us live by phone this morning from the Fremont BART station with the latest going on out there. Good morning, Will. Good morning, James. It seems like people are getting the word that the strike has been averted since the last time I talked to you. More and more people are starting to show up to the Fremont BART station, although according to a bus driver, who works out of here, he says, is still not at the same level as it normally is. But uh, with the morning progressing, and if they keep watching Climb 4, then maybe they'll get the word to stay out of their cars and then hop on BART this morning. Back to you, James. All righty, Will, thank you very much. Yeah, I wouldn't be surprised. A lot of folks probably made uh, carpooling commitments ahead of time that they need to go through with today, and maybe tomorrow we'll see BART ridership return to its normal level. Of course, stay tuned here to Cron4 News and Cron4.com. We're going to be live blogging this morning, beginning at 7.30, and we'll uh, gauge the reaction here to the BART strike being called off. We also have the entire news conference that announced the tentative agreement last night. That is available on our website as well at Cron4.com. All right, at 525, uh, other details for you this morning in another story. Federal prosecutors have made their last legal pitch now to a federal appeals court to allow them to use crucial evidence in their perjury case against home run king Barry Bonds. In court papers filed, uh, government lawmakers, or government lawyers, I should say, uh, again argued that San Francisco judge that, uh, that was involved in the case was wrong to exclude key evidence in that case, which included drug tests report purportedly showing Bonds tested positive for steroids back in 2000 and in 2001. Bonds is accused of lying to a federal grand jury and is, uh, and as it was investigating, I should say, the Balco steroid scandal. So the latest on that now. Also for the first time in his career, Tiger Woods has lost a major championship when leading after three rounds. Typically, if he's still in the lead after three rounds, he goes on to win it, but that didn't happen. Y.E. Yang of South Korea, see him there, pulled off a stunning three-shot victory over Woods in the PGA Championship at Hazleton near uh, Minneapolis. Woods was 14-0 and when he went into the final round of a major atop the leaderboard. And there you see another putt and the fist pump. Yang is the first Asian golfer to win a major men's title. He surged ahead with an eagle on the par 4 14th and sealed the deal with a birdie on the final hole. And there's the defeated Tiger Woods. And there's Yang with the trophy there. All right, 527 is the time. We're going to take another break. When we come back, the latest on our top story, which, of course, is BART. And the fact that they are not on strike this morning. The trains are running. So if you like to take BART to get to work, you can today. More on that coming up in a minute. Stay with us.